friends, MD Vegan with Life Bakery. I make a summer berry tart uh, with white chocolate cream. I make the crust first and uh, always use it. I use a food processor for the crust here, fitted with the S blade. That's the most important tool for me making life bakery because it's the easiest way to get the crust and it takes a lot of time. So I have two and a half cups of almonds here. That's a very simple crust. The basic crust begins with almonds. Many ways to make a crust. This is the easiest one. Just almonds and make later with the coarse meal I add dates. This is the coarse meal. Here you see. Adding dates, dates first would take longer than for the meal to get finer. That's why I put the dates afterwards. So now I put the dates. I have here 20 dates, 20 small dates. Yeah, that is depends on it's pitted, of course. That depends on uh, how many dates. It depends on how sweet the, the dough you want to have. Um, the dates make the dough sticky. And it keeps together. And to refine it, I take a little bit of cinnamon today, just two tablespoons of cinnamon powder. That makes it a little bit more delicious, if you like. But that's um, optional. Again, together with the dates, the coarse meal turns into a sticky dough that looks like this. You take out a little bit, press it together with the fingers, and you have it sticking together. That's called sticky dough. And I will now have a spring foam, about more, a little bit more than 20 centimeters in diameter. Fit it, um, have a parchment paper lined out here. And I put all the, uh, the sticky dough directly onto the, into the um, spring foam. And then I begin, before I press it down, yeah, I have to spread it evenly. Because now, while spreading it evenly, I make sure um, the shape I want. Yeah? I can use basically two kinds of, of crust. I can make a crust where the sides go up. Yeah? Or I can make just a simple flat, flat, flat crust. And for now, I prefer the simple flat crust yeah, because I like um, the chocolate, the white chocolate cream, well, is the filling. I like to see that from the sides. Yeah. Sometimes for apple pie, it might be nice to have it more like a tart. Yeah. The sides go up, but in this case, so I first press it, spray it evenly, and then I begin to press it down. Once the shape is ready, I can now put more weight on. Here with the knuckles of my fist, I can put all the weight on the sticky dough to press it into a crust. So I come back in a moment. This will take me two minutes or so. You don't need to watch everything here. <laughs> the crust is done. Looks nice. You see, I pressed it down. It's a little bit darker now. You see the thickness, it's a centimeter or so, maybe two and a half centimeters. I put it aside to make the filling. Yeah? There is a cream, a cream with white chocolate cream that um, is a layering, a covering or um, mantling, um, coating the berries. Yeah? First I make the cream. And um, the cream is a very simple, They're like a chocolate cream that has to firm up, consists basically of nuts and chocolate, yeah, or cacao butter and chocolate, um, the white chocolate cream. But if I have to make it softer and a little bit creamier, I take bananas yeah, as a base here, three or four bananas. I will blend them first together with the cashew nuts, bananas and cashew nuts. And the more cashew nuts I take and the more cacao butter, the firmer the filling gets. And it needs to be firm enough to keep, yeah, to keep its shape when I cut a piece out of the cake. So here maybe, uh, yes, maybe one and a half cup of cashew nuts together with four bananas. I hope that will be enough. I'll blend it now. 
Yeah? And the thing is now, I need the bananas also to get the cashews um, in the cream. Yeah? Uh, because blending cashews on its own, that doesn't work. Yeah? You have to put water in there also. So now blender dance again. <laughs> see if here like a blossom and you see it is nice and creamy and now to get it firm I, and chocolatey I put um, chocolate or uh, cacao butter into it and I have to be careful because my my container is quite full I show you anyway here I show you uh, close to the camera you can see everything this is cacao butter liquefied and the cup here has hot water, so the cacao butter comes usually in a block. It's a very hard, very hard block, white cacao butter block. Um, that's how they are sold. And, whoops, and I have to scrape it with a, with a, cutting, with a chef's knife or a cutting board. And then I put the little pieces into this container and then I liquefy it on a water bath. And this goes in last here, because if I put it in first, it ends up at the sides of the blender. And that is not wanted. Yeah, I want the, uh, the cacao butter in the cream, not in the blender, <laughs> to remain in the blender. That's why I last. Now again, one more. <laughs> because the, the liquid uh, liquefied butter was standing on top of the cream so um, I had to help it to go down yeah and, but that is always if you have a, um, a, a heavy mass in the blender then of course it takes some time for everything to be uh, turned around completely so sometimes you have to help a little bit but you see this is a good ratio because the blender is only half full and it has to be pretty easy to work. If the blender is fuller with a heavy mass, then even a strong blender can have problems. You be careful with that. Otherwise you lose your blender and you have to get it to the repair shop. <laughs> and that always takes some time to get it back. So now I will, um, you see that, that is what it looks like here. The cream is pretty firm now, and that's very good. If it's white chocolate cream, you see how easy it is to make. Yeah, it's really some very simple. And I have to put a, 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 a very thin layer, just a kind of glue, on the ground of my crust so that the berries, I put the main part of this cake, the berries, I put onto the crust so that they don't roll down, that they stay on the cake. That's why I need a little bit of the chocolate cream on the bottom. Yeah. Just add the glue. Share it, uh, spread it evenly now, yeah, very, very quickly. Here, I show you that you can have, a, have an idea. I see very thin here the cream, just as a glue. And now I put the berries. 
have a wonderful berries that is sort of the main part today. I uh, have some cherries here, kind of berries here. A nice container of berries, uh, cherries, they are so delicious in the season here. Beautiful. Really, I could eat them all the way, all like that. It's so not nice. But I want to make this cake now. So I put them into the into the filling here. And I really want to have um, a cake um, full of berries. Yeah, That's why I have a lot of berries. But usually in a fruit pie, in a fruit cake, uh, you don't have that many. You mostly have filling, whatever it is. And um, but this, uh, what I like so nice, so so much, so much is uh, I want to have a full berry cake. Yeah. It is a birthday present for a friend, a very nice dear friend, and I want to give him something very nice. So I make these berries, and I have some more. I have here blueberries also, and red currants. All the summer can. Uh, Gift us here, uh, gifted by the summer, uh, with, us, uh, with the summer. We have so many gifts here from the summer, and so I will um, spread it now a little bit. I guess that is enough. I just see here, this is all enough. I don't need more. I, I just I had the idea to put more berries in there, but you know what? Well, this is so enough. Just the the cherries, the blueberries, and the red currants uh, give you a. Uh, I, I can do. I can do more berries. This is already full. And you see how beautiful that is. Just to give you an idea, isn't that amazing? <laughs> yeah, that is. By the way, the healthiest food you can get at all. <laughs> These berries, and I will put the rest of the cream on top now, and it all can keep together. And then I'm done. <laughs> so I can put it now and also on the, the chocolate cream on the berries. Again, I have to spread it evenly. And then it goes into the fridge to firm. That takes overnight. At ma uh, that's um, the, the um, maximum. Yeah? Uh, when I put it out now into the fridge, um, at the latest, tomorrow morning, I can take it out and um, cut a piece out of it and serve it. Yeah, I will visit the friend and take the whole cake to the party. And uh, the party is tomorrow, so when I do it, to get it, get, do it today, I can easily have the cake ready tomorrow by tomorrow. There's absolutely no problem. So for you to know if you want to make something, uh, it is for the next day, yeah, like this. Other cakes, uh, otherwise you could also freeze the cake and it takes uh, maybe two hours or so to firm up. That's another option. If you have a freezer, that's also possible. But other, usually, uh, with the, the refrigerator, uh, it's it's um, it's um, it's one night or so. Yeah. Then you have a mostly. There's one exception. If I have orange cake, orange cake with um, mostly oranges and a little bit of uh, coconut oil. Uh, that would take uh, 24 hours to firm up. Uh, after 12 hours, it would be still runny, and you think, oh, my cake doesn't work, the filling doesn't work. No, the orange cake is the only exception I know that takes more than 12 hours, it takes 24 hours um, to really firm up. So this now is um, spread evenly, but I have to um, stir the, the chocolate cream a little bit into the berries. Yeah, I have to... Um, uh, make it all keep together. Uh, that he also takes a, a moment, but when I don't do that, you can imagine uh, this, the, the, the filling still would not keep together. Yeah, and as I have that many berries, yeah, um, it takes a little bit to really make sure that all the berries are are coated nicely um, with chocolate cream. Uh, this is a little bit important here uh, to get it done everywhere and every part of the cake. And uh, very careful, of course, not to, to mash the berries. Yeah. They will lose some juice anyway. And the juice now that is released from the berries, that will um, be very nice in the cake. The color of the cake will be beautiful. So now I, have, I think I have reached every part. Yeah. So here, one more there. 
That's a very nice cake. Uh, all these berries. I never made it before. Uh, other cakes with with um, with a white chocolate cream, which I, I really like. I, I have used it um, with raspberries already. Uh, that is another one I made, but they had less raspberries. Mostly I had then um, the cream, the chocolate cream that was also very delicious. But here I have mostly berries because um, I was so uh, fond of the berries when I saw them. Um, I, did, I, I thought I have to make a cake mostly with berries. Yeah. And that's done now. Just now make it nice. Let the, the surface is surface is pretty even. So you can still have you can still uh, see the berries. Uh, they they um, from above. Uh, you see some of the berries shining through, but they are all covered. I'll show you now again what it's like here. <laughs> this is a nice, wonderful berry cake, summer berry cake with white chocolate, and I will put a foil on top. Yeah, then put it in the fridge, um, wait overnight, and then I, I'll show you. I'll come back uh, to finish the video uh, in a minute. That is will be tomorrow, and then I show you how I cut a piece of the cake. Thanks for watching, and see you in a moment. <laughs> now the cake is ready. I can feel it. It's firm. And that's always the thing with the filling. It has to be firm so I can cut a piece out of it. And it keeps its shape. And here I show you what I did. Yeah. To put it in the fridge, if I put a foil on it. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, there would be puddles here now. Water puddles yeah, that change the color and are not very nice. So that is very easy. And uh, so, so I cannot, um, nothing can fall on the, on, onto the cake and um, yeah, do anything to the surface. So that's why I have this foil and I keep this foil, I don't throw it away, I just put it aside and will um, put it back onto the cake when I put it back into the fridge. Uh, I maybe cannot eat all cake at once, yeah. If it's just for myself or so, yeah, I can always put the, uh, the foil back on. So now to open it, I use um, usually use a, a knife that is thin and flexible, yeah, a very thin knife, a blade, I mean, and um, because when I open the spring form here, it can happen that the surface of the cake breaks apart. Yeah, because the sides of the cake sticks to the side of the spring form. And to avoid this cracking open, I have the knife and drive between the sides of the cake and the spring form. Now let's see if it really breaks. Sometimes it goes without the knife. Now it breaks again. It breaks again, so I will just use the knife. And it's very easy. I just need to be carefully and slowly driving around the form. Yeah, and I can already feel the firmness of the filling, very nice. It's a white chocolate filling, a white chocolate cream, and filled with all the good berries of the summer. <laughs> That's nice. And it's always a little surprise that cutting a first piece out of the cake, especially with all these good things inside, it's a surprise what it looks like uh, from the sides, the cut. So that is now ready. I can take off the form, the sides. Yeah, it works it's like this. Yeah, form is off. And now here is the cake. I show you. It looks nice. It looks very nice. Yeah. Okay. First, I show you the whole cake as one. Careful now not to throw it down. You see, this is a large white chocolate tart. You see. Berries inside, and I want to see how many berries actually I have. See the, the nice little brown color that is like a topping, like a first, um, like a decoration almost. That is the white chocolate, turns a little bit brown or darker, yeah. um, and that's actually a nice effect. Yeah. So now I cut a piece out of the cake and I will. Take the same knife, it's very simple, and stick it into the middle of the cake. 
firmly to the ground because I have to cut it thoroughly, otherwise I cannot take the piece out. Now I have to cut it. It's also good to have this, oh you see the juice of the berries already coming out, very nice. <laughs> They're very juicy. Um, it's also good to have a thin knife, a thin blade, because that's, that, that's, then I can cut it easier and uh, do, I do not um, push the, the, the pieces of the cake uh, aside. So the next, the next cut, again in the middle, deep down. Slowly, slowly, always cutting to the ground, through the crust. So that I have it now, I have it. I guess it's okay. Looks nice. I will see if I can take out the first piece without a problem. I'll take the knife for that too. And the first piece usually is pretty easy to take out. Ah. The tip of the cake. Yeah, already is full of fruit, full of berries. So the cake falls apart a little bit. I put it on a, on a plate. Very nice. There's one cherry here that fell out of the cake. I will put it back in, no problem. Oops. And the center, the middle. It's fallen off. But, well, there is so many fruit. Yeah, that it um, doesn't matter. It's still a nice piece. I show you what I have here. My first piece. The tip is a little bit missing, but who notices? It's very nice, you see. And it's full of berries. That's what I wanted. Yeah. Cherries, blackberries. No, not blackberries. Blueberries and red currants. That's it. So. It's a very nice cake. I thank you for watching again. Thanks again for watching and I hope you enjoyed. If so, thumbs up and maybe you want to subscribe and leave on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day and find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. Ah, this is how I could imagine getting ready for a piece of my white chocolate summer berry tart. How about you?